Hey, everybody that knows me knows that I love me some notes. I like being able to keep my life organized, write down random thoughts, and to be able to stay on top of things. But sometimes you just don't need all the power of the Native Notes app. Or maybe you're not into craft. But I come across this really cool app, especially for those that use Google. What's it called? It's called Google Keep. It's really simplistic and very easy to get started and use. Let's go ahead and open it up and take a look. So there you can see I've created a couple, three test notes there. Just for illustration, I've got one with just a random test note with some drawing and another one I put a link into. Another one that contains a list and even created a reminder for it. So in the top left hand corner where it says search your notes, if you click on that, that brings down where you can see reminders and create, you see I've created some labels, creative ideas, journaling, social media post, yada, yada, yada. Now if you, right there below that, if you click on the create or edit labels, you can go ahead and add in more labels or edit existing ones. So pretty simplistic, pretty straightforward. So let's jump in and take a look at a note. So in the bottom right, of course you see the big old plus symbol with the standard Google colors on it. When you click on that, that then brings you up a very blank note where you can create a title. And then just begin typing whatever it is you need to put in there. Now let's say you might want to spoof this up just a little bit. Maybe you want an image in there, right? So let's go ahead and click on that color palette there at the bottom. And you could change the dynamic and you change the colors of it. So, you know, do something like that or purple. Or maybe you wanted a built-in image just to give it a different look and feel. So I'm going to go ahead and choose the one that looks like a little pencil. And notice there it changes the overall look and feel of my note. It's pretty simple and pretty straightforward. So as you can see, I'm given that one title. But let's see if this will find this in the search of my iPad. Let's go ahead and minimize that. Swipe down and type in title down here. And there it is. See there, it's got Google Keep and my notes. I'll go ahead and click on that and it opens it right back up. So you can find your notes within the search functionality of your iPad or iPhone, whatever you want to use this on. There you go. That was pretty straightforward. Now, let's say maybe you'd like to create a checklist or something of that nature, kind of like a reminder. On the bottom left, you see where a little checkbox is? Click on that. And again, we'll jump up here and give this a title and call this one To Do List. Of course, you come out to the little checkbox there and type in something you need to possibly do, like a checklist. Do get groceries. We can click on Add Another List Item. Now, so you've created your checklist, but you want to create a reminder for this list. In the upper right hand corner where you see the little bell icon, if you click on that, you can see where it says tomorrow morning, tomorrow evening, or come down to where it says pick date and time. And of course that allows you to choose your date and your time, and you can choose either repeats, doesn't repeat, what have you. And of course, if you want to, you could also, let's see, let me, I'm not using app. If you want this note to remind you when you're at a specific location, providing you have a location service that's turned on, you could do that option as well. So let's go ahead and jump out of that all the way. And of course, as you can see, it automatically saves my note, kind of like in a Kanban board layout, which is really cool. But let's say maybe you want a note with an image on top of it. Something kind of stands out for you. We can do that too. The very bottom there, left hand side, where you see the little box that looks like an image picker. Click on that. And I'll go ahead and choose from images. I've already allowed access to my images. And I'm going to choose this one right here just because I thought it was funny when the whole Facebook thing kind of happened. And here again, give it a title.
And there you go, just like that. It's simple. Type, you know, click out of it. And there it is on my board. Maybe you've created notes in here that are specific to a reminder. So if you click on the hamburger icon there at the top left next to where it says search your notes, gives you a drop down. Of course, you can click on the one that says reminders. That filters that out automatically based on that type of note. Of course, you can go back, go back into all your notes. And there you go. Now you could also, obviously, if you click into different like creative ideas, that takes you in that specific folder. Again, click on the note, give it a title. As you can see right there, it's got the label right below your information so they know where it's at, right? And then we'll go ahead and go back out to all. Now, even though it shows up in your Kanban, but if you specifically, again, want to narrow these down, you can go into creative ideas and it only will show you those notes specific to that category. So there you go. I thought you would kind of enjoy something. It's a different approach to taking notes, a little bit more simplistic. Uh, one more item here probably need to cover for you. You can, just as with any other note application, I'm going to put some web content in there, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and click on a new note, give it a title, and we'll call this one Web Content. Okay, and well, of course you know, you can move this over here to, I'm going to go ahead and minimize this for a moment. And let me go ahead and open up my Safari application. Having finger problems tonight. We'll go ahead and open that up. I'll go ahead and uh, just grab the link to this right here. Go ahead and click on my share. Click on copy. Go ahead and get rid of Safari. And let's go ahead and put the link in here. Of course, I've already copied it. If you just tap on the screen, choose paste. Make sure you enter afterwards. Click done. Go back. And notice, of course, I had to refresh it. But notice there in the notes. We'll go ahead and click back into it. There's your link. But right below it has got like a card of the website you had just dropped in there. So you can tap either on the link itself or the card. And choose which browser you want it to open up in. And just like that, that pulls up the link that you had put in there. So pretty cool. Like I said, it's really simplistic app i encourage you to get it you can go to your app store to download it it is free and then associate it to any google account that you utilize and it's just a really slick simplistic way of organizing your content and thoughts if you really don't need all the power of the built-in native notes app or maybe you know and look i love my ios devices but i'm also a huge google user as well many of their services and of course, you can put this on different apps. So obviously, I put this one on my iPad, but I've also got it on my iPhone. So when I pull these up on my iPhone, these same notes will be on my iPhone as well. So it's that same synchronization capability that's offered. There you go. Just a different look at some note taking options. And I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know how you enjoyed that. Be blessed.